in California sucks. It pains me to say this, but I'm really glad I don't live in that state anymore. I lived there a few years ago, really briefly, with a great friend of mine. And while I really appreciated living out in California, I'm really, really glad I don't live there anymore. I'm so happy that I live in the state of Florida. And looking back, I really do have to say that living in California sucks. What is going on everyone? Chris Vincelli here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is the YouTube channel that discusses personal development, finances, and everyday life experiences. And in this video, I'm gonna go over the seven reasons why living in California sucks. And I'm not gonna waste any time. I'm gonna dive into it right now. And the first reason why living in California sucks is because of the traffic. Regardless of whether you live in the San Francisco Bay Area or in Southern California, the traffic is absolutely horrendous. If you have to commute to and from work every single day by car, you're probably gonna end up spending many, many hours per day stuck in traffic. And the crazy thing about traffic in California, specifically in the LA or San Francisco areas, is that it could happen at pretty much any time of day. Traffic doesn't just occur during the normal morning and evening rush hours. When I was living in LA, there was traffic at random hours, like at 11 o'clock in the morning or at 10 o'clock at night. It was nuts, it was crazy, and the traffic was absolutely horrible. You would spend hours on the freeway getting to where you need to go, getting to the neighborhood you need to get to. And then even when you exit the freeway, there's a lot of traffic on some of the major streets and boulevards. So traffic is absolutely horrendous, and I found that I had to plan my day around the main traffic hours, which was almost impossible to do because traffic would occur at almost any time of day. So when I was living in LA, I needed to incorporate its crazy traffic in part of my planning when I go out somewhere. Now you might say, Chris, you know, LA and San Francisco, you know, that's not all of California. You're only talking about two specific metro areas. That's not representative of all of California. And I would say you're wrong because the LA and San Francisco metropolitan areas, you know, the Bay Area and Southern California, those two areas combined make up the majority of California's population. So most people in California live in those two metro areas and therefore most people are gonna come across that crazy traffic. All right, the next thing that really sucks about California are its taxes, the marginal, income tax rate in California for individuals is the highest in the country at 13.3%. That's really high, especially when you compare California's marginal income tax rate to that of other states like Texas and Florida, where there is no state income tax. So yeah, the state income tax in California is really, really high. It's ridiculously high. It makes living there that much more difficult. And on top of the income tax, of course, there's also state sales tax. And at 7.25%, I think the sales tax in California is one of the highest, if not the highest in the country. And if the high income tax and sales tax isn't making your life difficult, I'm sure that the cost of living in California definitely would. Your dollar does not go very far in California because of its high cost of living, specifically when it comes to housing. In fact, relative to other states in the United States, one dollar in California is equivalent to only 87 cents. That means that your dollar just doesn't go very far because of its high cost of living. And in fact, California, I think, is second in the nation in terms of cost of living, only behind the state of Hawaii. And all these taxes and this high cost of living contributes to a ridiculous homelessness problem in California. There are approximately 150,000 people that are homeless in the state of California. And the vast majority of those homeless people are not living in a shelter. In fact, California has more unsheltered homeless people than all other states in the United States combined. So yes, there's a really bad homelessness problem in California. There are tons of streets and highway underpasses that are just lined with people living outside, either in tents or just in the open air. And this makes for very unsanitary and quite frankly, dangerous living conditions for everyone living in California. You hear stories in California of people walking through city parks that are littered in used needles and streets and sidewalks covered in human fecal matter and urine. So it's not a great place to live, the homelessness problem is really, really bad, and unfortunately, it's only getting worse. All right, there are a few more points I wanna go over, but before I do so, I wanna let you guys know that 
Whether you've seen my content before or if this is the first time you're viewing one of my videos, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you can be notified every single time I come out with other great and similar content. And if you're liking the video, go ahead and smash that like button. YouTube really likes it when people like my content. So please support my channel, support my video, and smash that like button. And by the way, guys, I'm also on Instagram, so feel free to follow me there. All right, so the next reason why living in California sucks is probably not a very popular reason, but I'm gonna say it, and it's because of its beaches. There's nothing wrong with California beaches. In fact, I think California has some pretty long, wide, beautiful beaches. What really sucks about the California beaches, however, is its water. The ocean water off the coast of California is freezing. Compare that to the water here in Florida where you can bathe in the water pretty much all year round. California's water is freezing, it's uninviting, and it does kinda suck to have a beautiful, long, wide beach with tons of people on it, but no one in the water because the water's so cold. All right, the sixth reason why living in California sucks is because of its natural disasters and extreme weather. When it comes to natural disasters, I'm not talking about earthquakes, although earthquakes do tend to happen pretty often in the state of California. Most of them are minor, but you do get some big ones every few years. I'm specifically talking about the wildfires that California has been seeing over these last few years on a pretty frequent and persistent basis. I'm also talking about the droughts and the major drought that California saw just a few years ago. And then on the flip side, when it's not super dry, there's like major torrential rains that can cause things like mudslides. So California sees its fair share of natural disasters of extreme weather. And I find that surprising given that California is known as a state with idyllic weather. So yes, the extreme weather and the natural disasters definitely contributes to a bad living experience in California. All right, and the last point I'm gonna bring up is something that I don't think a lot of people from outside of California know of, but the last reason why living in California sucks is because of May gray and June gloom. This is a weather phenomenon that takes place evidently during the months of May and June, where there is a strong, thick, and persistent layer of cloud that covers much of Southern California. So the San Diego, Orange County, Los Angeles areas, these parts of California, known for its supposedly nice weather and beaches, is just covered in a thick, layer of cloud. So during that time of year, you're gonna be seeing a lot of fog and cloud whenever you go outside. Not much rain, but not much sun, just a lot of clouds. And this thick layer of clouds can last for days, weeks, even a whole month. So yeah, May gray and June gloom is a thing. There's a reason why they call it June gloom and it's because it does get really gloomy in California in the month of June. So I think it's something worth mentioning People need to be aware of this crazy weather phenomena. It really sucks to be living in California during those months. All right, everyone, quick question. For those of you who live in California, what do you think of the points I brought up? Are there any points that I might have missed? Are there additional reasons why living in California sucks? And for those who have recently left California, what were the reasons why you left? I would love to hear from you. Drop your thoughts in the comment section below. And like I mentioned earlier, whether you've seen my content before or if this is the first time you've seen one of my videos, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you can be notified every single time I come out with other great and similar content. And if you like the video, go ahead and smash that like button. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram. You can find me there as well. Thanks, everyone. Talk to you soon.